He's the God of all nations. Every tribe, kindred, and tongue. He is the very power that gives them the words they speak. And the breath, even that they blaspheme Him with. He is still merciful and gracious and gives them the breath to speak. But let it be known that time is running out. It's like an hourglass and it's running out. And soon they will look upon him whom they pierced. And they will realize there is only one God. And it wasn't their idea. And it wasn't their decision as to whom God is. For it is he who sitteth upon the circle of the earth and looks within time from eternity and breathes the breath of lives into all living. For his exhale of breath, the Yah, the Yah was breathed into covenant. Abraham, Sarah, For this life, Yeshua brought his breath to us. God in the flesh, only one, Jesus, Messiah. Let every breath, and everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord on high, whose name is magnified among the nations. For a great ground swell of revival has begun in Iran. For in Iran, they are fighting on two fronts. They are fighting Israel, but they are fighting Yah. And they are fighting the groundswell of Yeshua in their midst. For even now I am preaching in the heart of Iran. Even now, says the Lord, I am preaching in the heart of Iran. And top generals are turning toward Yeshua. Turning toward the God of Israel. Taking a trip around the world, hearing the breath of Yah. A breath, the breath that a dragon cannot breathe. So I have sent my spirit among the China trees. And in the wind as it blows, those in Wisconsin are praying for them. And it's picking up in the wind of Yah. In the trees of China. North Korea. You do not hear the breath that blows through the willows and the boughs while you plot your destruction revival is swelling in your bowels for missionaries long ago breathed the breath of Yah on your soil and it has grown and grown and grown until now it's come to a boil the boil in the sea the boil in North Korea. Is coming from me. <sighs> Play those air. For deep. In 
in the trees of the jungle and the banana trees hears my voice today and nations in their wicked regimes are about to give sway to a breath coming through the trees like the garden in the cool of the day for hear these words of prophecy says the Lord as I breathe them out today and say Yah. oh Yah Yah Shua Yeshua 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 Come on Yeshua 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 Yeshua, 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 Yeshua in the trees, Yeshua on every breeze, Yeshua in the islands, Yeshua. Yeshua, 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 Yeshua. lift our hands and our voices and give Yeshua praise for he is the one overcame death hell and the grave he is the one Yeshua mighty to save he is the one that hell could not defeat he is the one with the nail scars in his hands and feet. He's Yeshua, 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 Yeshua. Of 
Paul, mighty to be praised. He has overcome death, hell, and the grave. Yeshua! what they had done when they threw him in the pit and then he was pulled out by slave masters it was symbolic of Jesus being buried in the ground and having to endure slave masters in hell but after three days and nights the praise of God brought him out the mighty Holy Ghost stormed in in hell looking for the beloved he found him there oh he found him there Turn him loose, let him go. He never committed a sin that's theirs, in case you wanted to know. Turn him loose, and hell released all holds because he had never committed a sin. And he was demanded by the Holy Ghost. And light stormed into the pits of the damned. And raised again the great I Am. He came out with great power. He came out. power dragging death by the juggler vein he defeated death hell and the grave on that day and now he wears his special coat of many colors again for every tribe and tongue of every man Red, white, yellow, brown, any other color that happens to hit town. He is the king, the savior. He's Lord. And a special place and a special stripe for everything of mankind. He's forgiven. He's made a way for you to be new again. And free from sin. Hallelujah. Say his name. Yeshua. 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 Oh, Yeshua. 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 Come on. Come on. Yeshua. All around the world. Yeshua. Everywhere you're listening. In China. Iran. In Israel. All over the world. Say. Yeshua, come on, Yeshua, 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 oh Yeshua, Yeshua, 
Yeshua, Yeshua, oh. his resurrection how grateful you are for his conquest in hell do you not understand he defeated death hell and the grave they all had to bow the knee to one name Jesus Yeshua oh yeah Yeshua HaMashiach the only Messiah <sighs> Yeshua HaMashiach the Messiah Come on. 
around the world Coming in in the flood All I mean by hippie is That you have been ostracized by men Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on Get on the train, come on and jump in the king now you're prophesying you're alive today we are alive because he is alive hallelujah You know, while they're setting up right now, um, we're going from one end to the spectrum to the other. But not really. <laughs> what? But not, really. but not really, because it is prophetic. You know, I was listening to the Lord about this song, and 
In 2017, and I'm going back a little bit, but I want you to hear this. In uh, 2017, we, we were asked to come and, and be a part of a monumental event that we didn't know how monumental it was. And uh, those who know anything about bluegrass know uh, that Ralph Stanley was, they called him the father of bluegrass. And uh, those of you who don't know anything about bluegrass, you know the movie, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? <laughs> and he wrote, Man of Constant Sorrow, which is not really a faith song, but... <laughs> he wrote Death. <laughs> and he wrote Oh Death, and he wrote Rank Stranger back, but he wrote a song years ago that was one of the, the most absolute, phenomenal gospel songs that told the story of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And it was called, I Am the Man Thomas. And so the, the record label, ask, or the, this label in Nashville, ask us, she said, I want y'all to be the one to do Thomas. She said, I just feel in my spirit that y'all are the ones. And we were just honored that we were asked to come to the Opry and do anything involving his tribute he had went home to be with the lord and i'm getting somewhere with this so we we go go but before we go it was such a an event a huge event that all hell tried to come against this yeah, event that's right. and there was powers unknown and it, it was just snowballing it was getting so big so fast the event was and the Stanley family was putting on this as well as, as uh, MC1 Nashville. And, and so this man called the, uh, the head of this uh, event, and he told her, he said, I'm going to shut you down. He said, nothing happens this big without me in Nashville. He did. Sure did. And she called us because she knew we'd pray. And she said, what am I going to do? All these, all these people are coming. We've got this. And he's threatening to shut me down. Yeah. And uh, so Robin, we went on up there, and we went in a conference room, and we were all praying. And all of a sudden, he told her the story of uh, Vita, Vince, Vince Vita, Vita, Benson, Benson Itahosa, yeah. where they told him they were going to shut him down. And he told that lady of the TV uh, station there, he said, you're fired. And so Robin looked at Darlene and said, tell him he's fired. And she just looked. She said, you're fired. And then she got some boldness about her. She said, called his, called his name and said, you're fired. Three days later, three days, three days later, the biggest scandal hit the, hit the news in Nashville against this person, and people begin to leave him like water draining out. Yeah, they did. And we came on, we went on, and the event just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger until it was one of the largest events to ever take place at the, Grand, at the Opry House. There were so many people there. It was ridiculous. Wow. 500 people backstage. was backstage, not the audience, backstage. And so we loaded in that day, and for you know, loaded in, we taking our equipment in. Well, some of you don't. For those that don't, and for those who are, are roadies, or knows what the, we, we have been roadies all of our life. <laughs> Austin walks out on the stage of the Opry and all of a sudden a message in tongues come out and it was so loud. It just roared across that place. Well, we all just go and everybody else just going like they just stopped. They don't know what, what to do because a lot of these the people that, I mean, they might have been Christians. I don't know, but we knew we was and so he did he just let loose. You know what letting loose is? Yeah. And then Robin interpreted it. 
and we just kind of went on, and everybody was like, okay, well, let's, let's get set up. It was and, just right off the stage. And it was just right off the stage. Well, after that night, you know, it was a wonderful night. Everything went off. The man called her and said, I just want you to know, that's just, I just want to congratulate you for your big event tonight. And he's just congratulating her. Well, it rocks on to tw July the 4th, 21. And the Lord told me, he said, that was a, that was a tongue that had to go out in that atmosphere in 17 that preceded the event that happened the 4th of July that Kenton Candy Christmas put together, Regeneration Nashville, the 4th of July, that was also one of the biggest Sundays of the, of the op, not the Rhineman, but the Grand Ole Opry, as many who was there that, that 4th of July. Well, a sound had to come forth, such a sound off of that stage. And we, it was resurrection power the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Then on the 4th of July, independence, Whoa. which is also a resurrection. And, what did I preach? and, he, and you preached on, uh, you preached on the resurrection. The resurrection. <laughs> I'm, I'm here, I'm, I had all this in my head. And... He said that had to come forth because of the fight that we've been in since that time until 2024. He said those sounds and those frequencies was monumental and it helped to push the door open for 2024. They drove me up the hill, Thomas. I am the man. They made me carry the cross, Thomas. I am the man. I am the man, Thomas. I am the man. Look at these nail scars in my hand. They made me well crying, Thomas. I am the man. I am the man. I am the man, Thomas. I am the man. Thomas. I am the man. Look at these nail scars.
door open wide He's alive He's alive He's alive and I'm forgiven Heaven's gates are open wide He's alive 